Today, I want to share you a hiking trail that I highly recommend. It's an easy and flat course. Only 4.7 kilometers long and takes around 2 hours to complete. From JR Takarazuka Station. Take the local train bound for Sanda. Please get off at Nagio Station. On the right side of the station, there is a brown building. Please enter the building. You can get a pamphlet of this course. It's reassuring to have a map. It's about a 15 minutes walk from here to the hiking trail. You can see a highway over there. Please go under the highway. And you come to this bridge. Go across the bridge. You can see the highway you went under earlier on the left side. Please keep going straight on the road along Route 176. Then you come to the underpass of the highway we went under earlier. We took a detour and ended up here. Please continue straight ahead. On the right side, many cars are passing by at high speeds. On the left side, you can see a residential area. When that residential area was built, we were surprised. You have to take a long inclined elevator to get there. This is the inclined elevator. I once went to ride it out of curiosity. It was free. It was like an amusement park. It was fun. Spring has just begun. The sprouting of trees along the roadside is also enjoyable to watch. You can see the landmark bus stop ahead. Kanamoto bus stop. You will arrive at the starting point of the course soon. There is a sign near the bus stop indicating the hiking course. Turn left here. Please go down this road. There are portable toilets available. After passing the toilet, go straight on this road. This is the beginning of the abandoned railway track hiking trail. There is a tranquil countryside spread out in front of me. During the holidays, many people visit here. But on weekdays, it's just the right amount of busy. Sometimes I pass by hikers. So even when I'm walking alone, it's not scary. This is a notice from JR West Japan. It says, everything is at your own risk. Understood. Now, let's start the hiking course on the abandoned railway. We'll walk along the Muko River. It's been a long time since I saw a river flow like this last time. I wonder how many times I've visited this abandoned railway hike. I first came here 25 years ago. When my husband, who wasn't usually interested in hiking, invited me along with our two elementary school-aged sons. I made lunch and prepared water bottles for my family. I took out two flashlights from the storage room and packed them in my backpack. We followed my husband. Our sons, who were boys wearing baseball caps. Now they live in Tokyo with their wives. The second time I visited was about 10 years ago. It was after I started an English conversation class. I planned it as an event for a recreation between a foreign teacher and students. There were about 12 of us in total. Although we created a rule that we would walk talking in English as it was an event for the English conversation class. The rule was not followed and the students chatted away in Japanese with each other, except for the foreign teacher. One of the students came with a small child. As the organizer, I followed her from behind to prevent any accidents. The event ended safely. And everyone was happy. I still remember the group photo we took in front of the tunnel. 
Well, we're approaching the first tunnel now. The unique feature of this hiking course is that we walk through tunnels. So flashlights are essential. Okay, let's go. Thanks to my years of experience, I can enter a tunnel like this alone. As I've grown older, I've developed a thicker skin, or in Japanese terms, hair on my heart. I know this tunnel well, because I've been here several times. When my husband brought me here, for the first time, I wasn't told anything. So even though I was with everyone, I was terrified. The children were also screaming, and their voices echoed, which was also scary. When I saw the exit of the tunnel, I felt relieved from the bottom of my heart. I deeply appreciated the blessing of the sunlight. It's worth trying the tunnel experience at least once in your lifetime. When you do something for the first time, it's scary, exciting, fresh, and memorable. The first time I hiked alone was when I visited a temple called Subosaka about 30 years ago. I had some business to attend to in Subosaka, so I went there. Since I finished my business quickly, I could have just gone straight back home. However, I happened to come across a signpost for Tsubosaka Canon. And since I had some spare time, I decided to go and see it. I live in Hyogo Prefecture. And Tsubosaka is in Nara Prefecture. It was my first time visiting Tsubosaka. And I wasn't familiar with the area. However, I thought it would be okay to go there because it's a well-known temple with signs. But that day was a weekday and in the afternoon. Usually Japanese people visit temples to worship in the morning. Therefore, there was no one else but me on the way to the temple. The path led into a dense avenue of trees and, even though it wasn't yet evening, it was dimly lit. I became scared thinking about encountering a thief or being murdered here. I stopped and wondered if I should turn back. But then I thought that if I came to visit the temple and got murdered, that would be my fate. So, I pushed myself forward. Of course, I wasn't murdered I arrived at Tsubosaka Canon, located at the end of the densely treed avenue, and was surprised by its unexpectedly bright atmosphere. This is the Tsubosaka Temple. I looked around the spacious precinct, and found that each place had its own story, and people's feelings were put into each place. It was like a wonderland. Visiting a new place, first time experience. It was my first adventure. On the way back, I took the same path, but I didn't feel scared at all and it passed by quickly. Since then, I have enjoyed many small adventures. Now, we are in another tunnel which is much longer than the last one. From here on out, it's the fun part. Please come and see it for yourself. Enjoy a small adventure. Get in touch with nature. Meet various flowers. Be amazed by the powerful flow of water. 
pass through many tunnels, cross a suspension bridge, and feel the arrival of spring on this hiking trip. We're almost at the goal. There's a restaurant near the goal, but unfortunately, it's closed today tears. There's also a restaurant near Takedow Station, but it had already closed by the time we got but it's okay not to have one meal. We'll take the train back from Takedow Station. The finale of the half-day spring adventure is after returning to the local area. There will have a lunch that is a calorie bomb. Itag da Kimas.